What's up everybody? You tuned into this video today because you wanted to know what are the top five things to do in Staten Island, New York. Well, stay tuned. Hey everybody, my name is George S. Monica. I'm a local realtor right here in Staten Island, New York. I'm with the Search Staten Island Realty team, powered by Wanaka Realtors and Appraisers. We get so many people moving to Staten Island, New York, and we just love it. So, do me a favor, send me a text, send me an email, send up a smoke signal if you have to. But if you have any questions about Staten Island, New York, just reach out to me. We'll do what we can to help you. And without further ado, let's get into it. Now, Let's get to the top five things to do in Staten Island, New York. And you're not going to guess what the number one is. You know what? Let's, wh why am I still in this office? The only way I'm going to tell you about what's the top five things to do in Staten Island is to get the heck out of here. So let's go. Coming in at number five, the Staten Island Zoo is one of Staten Island's crown jewels. It features so many things for the kids to do, for your family to do, that many times you can't take it all in in just one day. So the Staten Island Zoo has, is, well re, is well known for their reptile wing. They're also very well known for their Amir Libet exhibit, as well as the monkey with the cell phone who probably is watching this right now. So another top thing to do in Staten Island, New York is, heck, we're known as the Borough of Parks, so why not go and hang out in the park with the family? Because then you get to experience things like this. So a lot of these parks have walking trails, which is, again, always good to get the blood pumping. It's always good to just get out, enjoy the sun, and enjoy Mother Nature. Another thing to do in Staten Island would be visiting the South Beach Boardwalk and look at the view. The South Beach Franklin Delano Roosevelt Boardwalk has some of the best views which face New York Lower Bay as well as the Verrazano Narrows Bridge which is on the east shore of Staten Island. This boardwalk is part of a New York City public park that stretches all the way from Fort Wadsworth and the Verrazano Bridge down to Miller Field, both part of Gateway National Recreation Area. The boardwalk contains numerous recreational facilities, including a skate park, you have ball fields, you have a place for kids to play, you've got just so many different things. You've got restaurants like the South Finn Grill, which you'll see coming up as well. And it, South Beach was such a great spot growing up, and now they used to have amusement parks down there. And now the boardwalk is just coming back for so many recreational uses. And it's one of Staten Island's top places to go for exercise as well as recreation. Yeah. 
historic Richmond town located in the middle of Staten Island is a remarkable living history village and museum complex that evokes 300 years of history, arts, and culture on Staten Island. In historic Richmond town, there is approximately 45 historical structures which include M. Bennett Restaurant, which you will see coming up right now. They have turn of the century living history homes, businesses, farms of the community throughout this 100 acres of breathtaking parkland, as well as if coming up right now, you see Main Street, as well as you see the old courthouse. Experience the history of the diverse people that built Staten Island. Historic Williamsburg in Virginia, they don't have anything on historic Richmond Town, Staten Island. These re restored structures are accessible through mostly guided tours, Wednesdays through Sundays. So you can go to their website, which will be in the notes below, and you can get your own view of historic Richmond Town, which is definitely on the top five things to do on Staten Island. So another one of the top five things to do on Staten Island is something that quite frankly I do a lot of, and that's go play golf. So Staten Island has four golf courses located on it. You're looking at Silver Lake Golf Course. Hopefully you'll get to see me on the golf course one day at right at this spot. But however, there is Lotteret Golf Course, which is in the middle of Staten Island. You've got South Shore Golf Course, which is on the South Shore of Staten Island. And then you have Richmond County Golf Course, which is the only private golf course in Staten Island, which is located on Toad Hill. All of these golf courses are always in pretty good shape. And as you can see here, Silver Lake is definitely one of the nicest golf courses around, especially in New York City. And you know what? It's my list. So this is the top thing to do on Staten Island. Get out there. Enjoy the sun and go play some golf. So that's all we have for today. Thank you for watching this video again. Do me a favor. If you like what you saw, if you got some value out of it, do me a favor. Hit that subscribe button below. It really helps us out. And again, we're going to do more videos on Staten Island, New York. And who knows, we might be coming to your town next. So if you want to see a neighborhood video about a specific neighborhood in Staten Island, do us a favor, drop it in the comment section down below. And again, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and that uh, bell. So anytime we do a new video, you're going to get notified right away. Thanks again for watching. We'll see you on the next video. We'll see you on the next, and we'll see you. Thanks again for watching. We'll see you on the next video.